So how do you help people to like, let's say someone isn't comfortable going up higher in their range. How do you help them to relax so that they can have some higher pitches and glide around up there? Have you ever worked on that with anyone? Well, usually when they do the semi-occlusion exercises, they find that it's not hard to go to those pitches. They, at first they feel, oh my gosh, if I bottle up my whole vocal tract and, and the sound doesn't come out, that's going to make me stiff and, 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 and tense. But within a few minutes, they find out that's not the case. Right. It, if they make the sound through the straw um, and, and uh, allow it to happen in a normal way, of course, you have to support it just like you would if you had your mouth open. Um, they'll find it quickly. They can just glide up to those pitches and no problem. Okay. So what about for someone who has um, vocal compromise or their vocal folds are not functioning um, as well as they would like at the very top of their range? Have you ever seen the straw help people kind of move past some of the limitations they have on the upper end? Well, yeah, very much so. My, my, my daughter, Karen, uh, is in the clinic all day long and, and she, uh, that's her job is basically help people who have <clears throat> somewhat uh, compromised conditions in the larynx. And she uses these techniques all the time, and it's very, very helpful. That, that's the thing that seems so strange, and uh, sometimes our intuitions uh, fool us a little bit. You'd think that because you're closing off your lips and you're not letting the sound out, that has got to make me stiff, tight, and whatever else. But exactly the opposite happens. Uh, if, if you use that energy that's acoustically created and let it feed back, to the vocal folds, even if they're not in perfect state, they will uh, figure out an easier way to vibrate. Um, and and that's, that's the whole idea behind the thing. 